सर व्हाट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन आईवीएफ टेस्ट ट्यूब बेबी एंड एक्सी टेस्ट ट्यूब बेबी ओके फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल व्हेन यू टेल मी टेस्ट ट्यूब बेबी टेस्ट ट्यूब बेबी इज अ मिथ एंड मिस नॉर्मल नथिंग हैपेंस इन टेस्ट ट्यूब नाउ एंड इट इज अ वेरी कंफ्यूजिंग टर्म फॉर एन आईवीएफ बेबी सो आई डोंट वांट टू कॉल इट एज अ टेस्ट ट्यूब आई कैन कॉल इट एज अ आईवीएफ बेबी now ivf can be done in two ways how ivf we do and why we do ivf see this is the uterus we of a lady and these are the two fallopian tubes there are two ovaries one on each side and from the ovary the egg comes into the tube sperm goes through vagina and it meets in the tube so life begins in the tube that is the embryo after 5 days it goes into the uterine cavity as a blastocyst and then it gets implanted and a pregnancy takes place this is the common thing which happens in natural birth now if any reason for any reason this fertilization or union of the seeds is not taking place maybe due to fault in the tube maybe due to fault in the eggs they might be poor or not coming into the tube or the sperms are not in good quality so this is not happening so what we do in ivf we take out the eggs by an ultrasound machine with a needle without any surgery eggs into a dish normally this egg selects a single sperm naturally so it selects the best sperm amongst the lot if we do the same thing outside and put the sperms around egg so if this egg selects a best sperm this is called conventional ivf that means there is a selection now sometimes this sperms are not good or any reason the egg is not accepting this sperm so there will not be a fertilization so whole cyst whole program will be a flop show so to avoid that now it is what we do this egg is being hold under microscope which is called micro manipulator this is the micro manipulator we have and this is the you can see there is a stick there is another stick there with one stick there is a needle another stick there is a needle with one side we hold the egg and with another needle we inject a single sperm inside that means there is a union of egg and sperm so there is a forced fertilization so when a sperm is injected inside the egg so it is an intra that is inside cytoplasm inside the egg sperm in sperm and injection that is called intra sperm cytoplasmic sperm injection that is icsi so in both ways we are achieving in vitro fertilization one way is conventional another way is by icsi so the difference is making and making as fertilized an egg in a natural environment natural way but outside the body is conventional i mean but when we do intra cytoplasmic sperm injection it is called icsi what happens with this embryo this embryo usually grows in fallopian tube now as we are making it outside so i have to give a good environment same like uterine tube these are the incubators these are this is a new this is a new you can see there are two dishes and inside the dish you can see small droplets and under that droplet the eggs are there the fertilized eggs are there and you can see there are multiple chambers with this chamber each chamber is acting as a fallopian tube of each patient so you are making these uh, different patients in a different segment so i should not disturb that patient with that patient when i open this it is for the this same thing in the same way we have a conventional incubator also this incubator is a a bit bigger one and we keep inside the the dishes so all temperature carbon dioxide and oxygen here also temperature carbon dioxide and oxygen we maintain that so that this embryo should grow when it grows when it grows from day 0 to day 5 on day 2 and day 3 there is a block only those are better they grow if they grow 
till day 5 which nature also does that day 5 stage is called blastocyst we do nowadays 100% blastocyst blastocyst can be produced either by simple IVF conventional IVF or ICSI this is the difference between ICSI and IVF but both are the forms of in vitro fertilization 